What is up, everyone? It is time for Major League Baseball. The regular season will begin tomorrow. And this is one final Giants preview where we're going to talk about some of the questions that are going to have to be answered between today and tomorrow regarding the roster. Talk about some of these spring training performances. Talk about who performed well, who didn't so much. The things I'm worried about the things I'm excited about. I want your thoughts down below, but let's go ahead and not mess around and get right into it. First of all, shout out Jordan Hicks for that performance, five strong, 10 strikeouts against the Oakland A's. He looks like he is stretched out at least to get to the fifth or sixth inning, and then the bullpen can take over while he stretches out a little more throughout the first month or two of the season. But it looks like that conversion from the bullpen to the rotation might just work perfectly. Alternatively, Logan Webb, unfortunately, did not have a great spring. At first, I wasn't too worried about it, but it just kind of kept getting worse. And he started five games during spring training, went 0-3. We're just going to have to hope that Logan Webb is Logan Webb. We've seen this in years prior. Remember, Madison Bumgarner used to always kind of suck in spring training, and then the regular season would start, and he would be fine. So we'll see how that goes. But definitely a little bit of a concern there. We'll be keeping an eye on Logan Webb. Hopefully it's nothing to worry about. But while the Giants have to wait for Robbie Ray and Alex Cobb should be back very soon, but uh, he's not quite 100%. Keaton Wynn isn't quite 100%. So the rotation is already becoming a little bit of a problem as we go into opening day right here. So thankfully, Jordan Hicks will be ready for that rotation because that's going to be a necessity. Kyle Harrison pitched very well in spring training. Super excited about him. If you're going to tell me two of these three guys would pitch really well in spring training and one wouldn't, I would prefer it just how it went. I'd rather Logan Webb not pitch well because I have more confidence that he can rebound and he'll be just fine. Whereas I want to see good stuff from Kyle Harrison, which we did, and I want to see good stuff from Hicks, which we definitely did against the A's the other day. And of course, Blake Snell will be back very shortly. He's still getting ready. So we're a little bit off track with pitching, which kind of sucks to have to start the year, maybe with some bullpen games or whatever. But I think that very quickly, we'll be okay right here. So regarding the lineup, everything is looking pretty good. Nick Ahmed had a great spring. Looks like he's going to be making the team as a start, uh, starting shortstop. I'll be surprised if he doesn't. Um, but there are some big questions. As far as the regulars, Tyro Estrada, he looked really good in spring training. All, all our regulars look great. Wilmer Flores tore it up, no surprise. Uh, Soler swung a good bat, although he didn't hit any home runs. So, you know, he's saving all that for the regular season. And uh, Ismael Mungu Munguia had a great spring. Unfortunately, he has been sent back to minor league camp. He's going to join probably the River Cats, I assoon, but he'll be in the minor leagues. Jung Hoo Lee was fantastic, no doubt about that, and looked great. So, um, Matt Chapman looked great the short time that he was here. But someone else looked great, and that's Joey Bart. What are the Giants to do? What is to become of Joey Bart? He hit 400 in spring training. He had a 946 OPS. It's nothing new to see him perform well in spring training, but I am now wondering, can the Giants make room for him? On the roster, carry three catchers. It's what I said I wanted them to do when I did my 26-man roster, but I didn't actually predict it to happen. Now I'm starting to think it might just happen happen and they still might dfa him and try to sneak him through waivers later where they can stash him in AAA, and then maybe promote him later purchase his contract bring him back later that could be a plan i don't think he'll make it through waivers now or during the season second overall pick who had who just had a fantastic spring training i don't see him going through waivers and getting passed up by 29 teams but are the giants willing to carry three catchers all year I highly doubt it. And the problem is that the backup catcher, Tom Murphy, also tore it up in spring training. He's got something to prove. He had a great spring. So they're not fixing to let him go. Yeah, I signed a two-year contract. He ain't going nowhere. And Patrick Bailey, damn sure ain't going nowhere. Although I say that, but Bailey did not have a very good spring despite the grand slam that I saw. That was amazing. But if Bailey does struggle, you know, have a terrible, terrible month or two, there is that chance that he might have to go back down, kind of like they sent back down Casey Schmidt. That would be really disappointing, but I guess it's possible. So there's definitely a problem, 
Maybe they're still trying to trade Bart, but uh, as of now, if he makes the team, I suppose they could trade him then. Or they could, like I said, DFA him at some point, especially if he's not playing well. And then maybe they figure he'll have a better chance to go through waivers at that point. I still think even if he's not playing particularly well in the regular season, he won't make it through waivers. But the roster's definitely shaping up. Austin Slater, I predicted, would start the year on the IL. He's still kind of having some injury issues. Also, there's a chance Yaz. Yaz has uh, not only some injury issues, but evidently, uh, but his wife's about to give birth um, on Friday. So congratulations, big congratulations to Mike Yastrzemski. This is going to be um, a, another uh, member of the Giants family on Friday coming into the world. So that's amazing, but he'll probably be hitting the paternity list. And, and so I don't know if he'll even bother starting the season on Thursday. So we'll see tomorrow. All these questions will be answered tomorrow. There's guys like Dalton Jeffries and Landon Roop, who I feel like have had really good springs. Sort of a small sample, to be quite honest, but they showed great stuff. And so did Spencer Howard. So um, a lot of guys, a lot of pitching that the Giants need. The good thing is some of those guys, most of them have options. Most of them you can send to the minors and bring them up later. That's not the situation with Joey Bart. So that's the real problem right there. If we go down to the bullpen right now. Camilo Duvall, of course, the Rogers twins. Yes, Luke Jackson, of course. And right now they're showing Landon Roop, Dalton Jeffries, Nick Avila, according to fan graphs, is expected to make the roster. He's, I've liked him for a couple years. He didn't totally dominate in spring training, but showed the good stuff that he, he usually does. He can also be somewhat of a long reliever. He can start games if needed. There are a lot of really good-looking arms, but I'm not so worried about it if they start in the minors, whether it be Landon Roop or uh, Carson Seymour or Ethan Small. If they can start in the minors, we could bring them up later, and that's the, what we'll be doing all season long. The only guy that I'm really concerned about are the guys like Joey Bart who are out of options. For years, Joey Bart has been my man. Since I started this channel, I put him in the graphic of this channel. If you go to my uh, main page for my YouTube channel. The graphic shows from the past, Mel Ott, Willie Mays, to, to the Barry Bonds, and you have the recent past with Buster Posey, and then I had, you know, the future, the future of the Giants, and it was Joey Bart in that graphic. So it's really disappointing that uh, he hasn't really worked out. So, I mean, I'm hoping for one more shot for Joey Bart. But like I said, what are you going to do? I mean, unless there's an injury, which very well could happen. I'm not hoping for injuries. Remember last year we had Roberto Perez. He went down. We Everyone forgot about him. But um, he was here last year, got hurt early in the year, and was out for the year. I'm not saying that will happen to Tom Murphy. Actually, I highly doubt it. And I don't wish that on Tom Murphy or anybody. But if it does, that would be one way Joey Bar could find his way onto the roster for this season. That's just some last minute questions for the roster. What is to become of Joey Bart? How is that back end of the rotation going to look? I don't mind this projection right here. Landon Roop, Dalton Jeffries, Nick Avila, a little bit of surprising to see him here. Like I said, I really liked him last year uh, in AAA, and I thought he might get promoted at some point last year. Didn't happen. Spencer Howard, haven't heard much talk on him. Mason Black, I thought was going to have a good shot to make the team. Turned out he's already been reassigned. So a lot of guys have been reassigned. Juan Sanchez was reassigned as well. So we're getting very close to figuring out this final roster. Likely you guys like Sean Jelly, Robbie Ray, Alex Cobb, Tristan Beck are going to start the year on the injured list. Ethan Small actually is hurt as well. I think I mentioned him, but Ethan Small is on the injured list. So a few of these guys are going to be starting the year hurt. We'll see what happens with Austin Slater. If he's going to start the year on the injured list, I kind of am guessing that that will happen because one guy, last guy to mention is my man. I'll probably mention a couple more, but Luis Matos, I think, I don't know how you don't put him on the opening day roster. Four home runs, led the team in big flies during spring training, hit over 300, an OPS over 1,000. And actually, a few Giants had big OPSs, had it really tore it up. Like I said, I mentioned Wilmer, Tom Murphy, David VR had a great spring. Shout out to him. Um, Mungia, who's already been reassigned. Wade Meckler, who's going to start in the minor leagues. And of course, Nick Ahmed, who I expect to make the team. Also, a couple other guys that had great springs include Trenton Brooks and Chase Pender. Um, so we'll see what happens with them. Yoshi Tutsugo was in spring training. He ended up, Giants ended up letting him go. Luis Matos, I am pumped about Luis Matos, okay, rookie of the year, 
2024. Let's go put him on the team. Put him in the lineup. Okay, that's where I'm at with it. Especially if Yaz, look, if Yaz is going to hit 210 or something. I love Yaz. But you got to produce. Simple as that. You got to produce. And if you're going to be, a, you know, someone's going to be a fourth outfielder or whatever, that's the case. You know, we got Austin Slater. We got a, we got a, a ton of outfielders right now. I say, I don't care what your name is. The best three will go out there. The best three. I don't care if Jung-Hoo Lee gets off to a horrible start and can't hit. It is what it is. I don't, I don't expect that, but it is what it is. We got to give Luis Matos some more time, I think, because that guy looks uh, absolutely legit. But let me know what you guys think down in that comment section. I like fan graphs, but the ad, this ad, it just, you could click off it and it just keeps on coming back. It keeps on coming back and it's just really annoying. There's no X to get rid of it. It's really terrible. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe. Let me know what you think of this team. I'm super excited. Giants looking good. What do you want to happen with Joey Bart? You done with Bart? Ready to move on? Get him. Kick him to the curb. Send him in. Waivers. Cut. DFA. Just, just send him. Get gone. Trade him. Don't care. Or do you want Joey Bart to get one more shot in 2024? What do you think about the rest of this team? Let me know down below. Jordan Hicks. Holy crap. Looking good. Talk to you guys next time.